So religion, what I've got to get us started with is a picture of last year's fourth graders in their saint costumes. Because at the end of our saint project, we do speeches where you dress up like your saint. Okay, so I have some examples for you. Notice not everyone dressed up exactly like their saint, right? Some people went and bought or made costumes like Addie last year. Um, went and got a bald cap for her hair and had like a brown a brown cloth on. And uh, Sydney and Jack made like headpieces like their saints. So they just took construction paper and I think one of them just made a circle and put it on her head. And then I think Jack um, put it on top of a baseball hat. And then some people just wore clothes that they had at home. Like uh, Allison and... Uh, um, Zoe and Alina, they just wore like regular like dresses and then added little parts. Like Allison's headpiece is just a um, towel that she put over her head. Okay, so using what you have, you don't have to recreate the wheel. It doesn't have to be a Broadway style costume. Okay, and then a lot of them are wearing these medals on their neck. And we'll talk about that in a moment. So let's look at what the same project's going to look like. You have... Uh, a copy of this on Google Classroom, and we got it in class, so my friend's in class. It's due on Friday, November 20th, okay? And then we'll start our presentations that next Monday and Tuesday. You're going to do some research on your saint, okay? And I have some resources in here to help you. Then you're going to have to write a paper and give a presentation or like a speech all from your memory, okay? So let's look through the next pages. On this page is a list of websites uh, for you that you'll want to use. So you don't want to use Wikipedia because anybody can go in and change Wikipedia. So you want to make sure we're using a good source, okay? The next two pages are rubrics on how you can get to as many points as possible. A three means you did it really, really well. A two was like, okay, like you put a little bit of effort into it. And a one is kind of like, you really didn't try, or this isn't your best work. Okay, so that's for your paper. And then you have one for your presentation, too. So you can get a total of 48 points for this project. Okay? And you can always look back through these because you have a copy of it, too. Next up, you have a working page to help you kind of take notes about your saint. Okay, so you'll have your saint's name. Make sure you spell it correctly when they were born and when they died, feast day they celebrate in the church, where did they live, okay, or where were they from, you can tell us too, and then coloring as best as you can on the map, kind of the area they were from. Tell me what they're the patron saint of, and you're going to list five interesting facts, and I'll continue on the back side of that page, and then anything else you find that's really interesting, because this will help make your paper and your speech better, but you need to have a minimum of those five at least, okay? Then, like I said in that picture, they were wearing medals. There's this paper in your packet. What you're gonna wanna do is draw a medal for your saint. Now, a lot of saints already have little medals. So you can copy a picture to look like your saint's medal, or you can draw your own to make it look what you think your saint's medal might look like. You might include symbols that they might have, or um, images that kind of represent your saint. You can take this one either way, okay? When you're cutting it out, the best way to cut this out is to cut all the way around one oval, but don't cut it out. And then do a loop around the other side, back to where they meet. Then they're still connected, and you can just fold them together and glue it together, and it'll be all together instead of trying to line up your sides perfectly, okay? blank page. All right. And then this one is your bibliography. For this, all you have to do is write down the name of like the website or the book that you use to find your research on. But let's think, is Google what found it or was that what helped you find it? That's what helped you find it. So let's say I go to saints.com saints and that's my website that I use and I find information about St. Benedict. Then I would look on here on my bibliography, I would write down saints.com because that's where I found it. That's all you really need to do for the bibliography is just give credit to where you found your information. Okay. 
So what you're going to do then is inside you'll fill out your page. And this was my example. It was St. Benedict. Okay. So I went through and filled up all my parts. I noticed I had five interesting facts. And then I went on and called more information about St. Benedict. Then I'll use this information to write my paper. But let's take a look at a paper from last year. Okay. So I have my friend Max's. He did a really good job giving me his information in complete sentences with good capital letters and punctuation, okay? Taking your time to write this. Take as many drafts as you need. Remember, this isn't due until November 20th. So we got some time. And then you'll use your paper to help you write your speech. So that's what we have for our same project. We'll start and we'll have class time set aside during the next month so you don't need to start anything with it yet okay let me know if you have questions otherwise i'm glad to see you getting excited about our same projects bye